Today's video is brought to you by Green Man Gaming. Stick around to learn how you can score some awesome deals on PC games. You're racing across the stars, completing quests and unraveling the mysteries of the universe. But what if I told you there was a secret quest that could jumpstart your progress and reward you with a new ship to boot? My name is Kodiak, this is Legacy Gaming. Strap in because today we're revealing the secrets of the Mantis. Truth be told, we love secrets here on the channel. So if you find an awesome quest or secret reward you think the community should know about, feel free to reach out to me on Discord, at Kodiak. My DMs are always open and I love working with you all to bring new and awesome content to the masses. However, today's secret was all made. During my early access time with the game, I stumbled upon a random quest that I just so happened to follow through with, and boy am I glad I did. So for full transparency, it's impossible to know exactly when and where you might stumble upon this secret given the procedural nature of aspects of Starfield, but I'm gonna lay it all out, the major beats of the quest, so you know exactly what to keep an eye out for. The quest you're hoping to stumble upon is a text slate called Secret Outpost. Now, I got this off a spacer I defeated on Altair 2, but it's possible to find this elsewhere in the galaxy. Both Livid and Schmo found their tablets in other parts of the universe, which means there's no way to simply farm this, just keep killing. Finding the tablet will automatically trigger a quest called Mantis. If you do get this quest, I highly recommend you stop whatever it is you're doing, complete it, whatever, and start this quest immediately. This will send you to a different planet. For me, it was Denebola 1B, and I think that should be consistent for each of you, but that really doesn't matter. Track the quest and follow it wherever it takes you. Once you arrive, you'll realize it's a particularly nasty point of interest, crawling with enemies and littered with booby traps. The backstory is that this base was a hideout for someone called the Mantis, a sort of phantom of the galaxy, and by the sounds of the various audio logs, a bit of a nut. No way. I mean, the Mantis is a fairy tale. Someone to keep pirates from going off the deep end. As you work your way through the facility, keep an eye out for various slates, specifically the audio logs that give you important context about the hideout. There's one slate in particular you'll want to keep an eye out for. It's titled Leon Volklain Six Semper Tyrannus. It holds the key to an environmental puzzle you'll need to solve for later. Eventually, at a crucial checkpoint within the hideout, you'll meet this squirrely fella here named Livy, who promises to help you. Now, being the good-natured guy that I am, I told him to get out of here before he too fell victim to the lair's traps. But he got a little peeved and ended up dead anyways. No, I, I won't go. I will fight you! Check it out guys, today's video was made possible thanks to Green Man Gaming, an official retailer of PC game keys. You know we're constantly giving away free games on our Discord, but you can't always win, and that's when our friends Green Man Gaming steps up to the plate. I know what you're thinking, are they legit? And the answer is absolutely. Just check out their ratings on Trustpilot, 4.6 stars with over 27,000 reviews. I've been buying games from them for years, and with a constant stream of new releases, anything I can do to save a few bucks really helps out. We're not talking old games either. The team is constantly pumping out deals for some of the biggest upcoming titles. Right now, if you hop on their website, greenmangaming.com, and use the code LEGACY17, you'll save 17% on some of the biggest upcoming games, like Lies of P, Mortal Kombat 1, Destiny 2 The Final Shape, and if you haven't done so already, scoop up Starfield. Again, that's Legacy 17 to save 17% on your next purchase. On the other side of the door he was blocking was the environmental puzzle I mentioned before. You'll have to move from one end of the room to the other without activating the OP turrets that will pretty much one-shot you. To do this, you'll need to spell out a word using the letter tiles on the floor. I recommend leaving whatever companion you're with behind you as they do trigger the traps. At least they did for me at least once, which was enough of a reason to leave them behind. If you manage to scoop up enough slates during your adventures throughout the hideout, you might already have the key to solving the puzzle in your inventory. It's that slate I mentioned before, titled Leon Volclaim Six Semper Tyrannus. That last word, Tyrannus, is your key. Carefully move across the room spelling out the word one letter at a time. T Y R A N N I S. Once you do that, you can throw the switch and exit the other side of the room, deactivating the turrets. Don't forget to grab your companion again, you're going to need them. What lies beyond are more rooms full of salvage and some robot defenses. For me, this was the first time seeing a Model A and Model S spot, 
so they definitely took me by surprise. If you manage to get through all of that, however, the spacers, the turrets, the puzzle, and the robots, you'll reach the final room, the Lair of the Mantis. Once inside, your quest will update and you'll be able to claim the following, the Mantis Pack, Mantis Space Helmet, and Mantis Spacesuit. The bonuses that roll on your Mantis armor will be different for each player, so while all three pieces of my armor have the incendiary modification, Schmo and Livid both had completely different sets of gear. This is pretty typical in Bethesda games, but does throw a wrench in things as far as consistency goes. While the armor looks ridiculous, it's such a huge improvement over most gear in the game, especially early on. This armor carried me from around the 20 hour mark all the way up to the 65 hour mark where I finally made a swap. Not because I had to, but because I found something a bit better. Once you're done looting the hideout, there's one more thing you need to claim. The Razor Leaf, a brand new ship. As the first new ship I stumbled across in the game, I was over the moon with how cool of a reward this is. In terms of value, it nearly doubles that of the Frontier, and it's a huge improvement in terms of performance. Better parts means more expanded capabilities, and while it's not a Star Destroyer, it certainly satisfies that early game need. What I actually found later in the game is that having the Mantis actually opens up some pretty funny world interactions. Like this. Take a listen. Unknown vessel, respond immediately or face the consequences. Acknowledge the hail, now! Scanning. <laughs> huh? What? Damn it, you're... You're the Mantis! It can't be. It can't be. I... Uh... Shit! Listen, I... Just go! Sorry to bother you. Here, here's some credits. Please! Just don't kill me, alright? I got kids! Like... So many kids! A, a five, no, ten of them! Ten children! A shirt? Yes! Yes, of course! Here! Thank you for sparing me! Go, go now! It's these types of moments that make me really appreciate the work the developers put into Starfield. This isn't a main quest or even a remotely important beat in the story, but there is such a level of detail and care put into the experience that I couldn't help but get sucked into that moment. From a functional standpoint, my favorite aspect of Razor Leaf is the Armory Hab that allows you to store tons of weapons and gear. Storage becomes a real problem in the early to mid game, especially if you're a collector hoarder like me, and having that hab is a lifesaver. It's also just a really cool small profile ship that can maneuver well, handle itself in a dogfight, and look sleek to boot. It's the perfect carrot at the end of the stick, and now you know just how to find it and claim it as your own. Friends, you now know the secrets of the Mantis. If you have any questions about this quest, please leave a comment down below. The team will do our best to help guide you through any obstacles, but as always, we rely on you, our community, to help each other out. You can also check us out on Discord if you want to talk about great games like Starfield, group up with friends, and enter for your chance to win daily giveaways. That link, as always, is below. My name is Kodiak, and from everyone here at Legacy Gaming, thanks for watching, and play on. <laughs>